The Kraft Foods Company presents The Great Gildersleeve. Uh. <laughs> it's The Great Gildersleeve, starring Harold Perry. Brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of a complete line of famous quality food products. Yes, it won't be long now. The counters are stacked, the department stores have issued their final ultimatums. A tradesman in a Santa suit lurks behind every Christmas tree, his pistol cocked, ready with his Christmas message, stand and deliver your money or your life. Grown-ups begin to wear that hunted look as they feel the holidays closing in upon them. But the children, hey, hey! <laughs> Cheeks are flushed, hopes are high, talk is merry and a little wild. You know, we have the craziest uncle. I mean, really, he's a scream. But so nice, isn't he, Leroy? Yeah, he's okay sometimes. It's so funny. Every year about this time, he gets us together. And he looks very solemn. And he says to us, Children, I'd like you to sit down for a minute. I just want to warn you, we're going to have a very small Christmas this year. Santa Claus is very poor. He. So I don't want you to expect too much. And Christmas morning? Oh, boy, everything. <laughs> Marjorie, I'd like you to sit down for a minute. Yes, Anki? Where's your brother? Uh, have you seen him? Bertie, have you seen Leroy? He's out and back. He's out and back. Ask him to come in for a minute, will you? Ask him to come in for a minute, will you? Leroy, your uncle wants you. I don't know. He's got something to see. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, does he have to slam it? Yes, I suppose he does. Leroy, I'd like to have a little talk with you and your... No. Where did you get that cat? I don't know. I found him out back. He's been hanging around all morning. Isn't he a beauty? He's a monster. Get rid of him. Oh, Unc, I was just going to ask you if we couldn't keep him. I expected that. The answer is no. But, Unc, he likes me. He's fond of me, Unc, see? Leroy, if we tried to accommodate all the animals you claim are fond of you, we'd be living in a Noah's Ark. Oh, but gee whiz. Now, you had a dog two Christmases ago, and you didn't take care of him. That's why he ran away. I told you then, no more animals. But, Unc, I'm older now. You're no more dependable. Not one whit. What's a whit, Unc? Don't try to change the subject. Get rid of the cat. Oh, Unc, I'd take care of him. He wouldn't be any trouble. It isn't a he, it's a she. You want a best? He, she, or it. <laughs> now, get rid of it. I want that cat out of here before he becomes an issue. Every time I let you play with some animal for five minutes, we have to have a whole great big thing about it. Now, put him outside. Okay. Poor old fellow, everybody treats him mean. Well, I'm your friend. Cat's too big anyway. If there's anything I can't stand, it's an overgrown cat. I don't mind kittens. They wouldn't grow up into cats. You liked Aesop? Aesop was a very unusual cat. This cat is ordinary. Tell it just by looking at him. You wouldn't say that if you knew him. Let's not have any more talk about cats, shall we, children? Uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to speak to you about is... Christmas. Here it comes. Now, Christmas will be here shortly, and I think I ought to warn you. I know what I want. That's not the Christmas spirit, my boy. The spirit of Christmas is in giving, not getting. Oh, I'm going to give you a present. Don't worry. March, too. I'm going to give the both super presents. If you ever pay me the allowance you owe me. Do I owe you money? Do you owe me? A dollar and a quarter. Well, remind me about it. I'm reminding you. Remind me some other time. You can't give till you get, you know. I haven't got it on me right now. Some other time, Leroy. Okay. But don't blame me if you're disappointed on Christmas. That's just the point I'm trying to get to, my boy. The best way to avoid being disappointed on Christmas is not to expect too much. This year, I'm only going to ask for one thing. That's all I'm going to ask for is one thing. Just one thing, that's all. One thing. Yes. Well, that's good, because this year, Santa is really going to have a tough... Just one thing, that's all. 
just one thing. He's really going to have a tough time. You see, with prices as high as they are... That's all I want is one thing. You might as well ask him what it is, Uncle Mort. Do you want to know? No, but what is it? <laughs> a motor scooter. A mo... You mean one of those... Yeah, one of those little red things you ride around on, like a motorcycle, only better. They're a lot safer, Uncle, and kids can ride them. They hardly burn any gas at all. Leroy, those things cost $150. They do. At the very least, maybe two hundred. Gosh, that's the only thing I really want. I've been wanting one of those ever since I can remember. I guess I want a motor scooter more than anything else in the world. Now be reasonable, Leroy. Don't get your heart set on something that's impossible. Craig is going to get one. Who said so? Craig. Craig is a great big. Craig is a little boy, Leroy. <laughs> you can't believe everything he says. Just the same, he's going to get one. He said so. It'd be just like that four-flusher buller to give his kid an expensive toy like that. It wouldn't be so expensive, Unc. Craig and I got it all figured out. When we get our scooters, we can do all kinds of things. We can deliver papers. We can run errands for people and charge them for it. Why, the scooters will pay for themselves in a couple of weeks. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Think it over, hey, Unc? Leroy, I want you to forget this whole idea. Do you understand? Just forget about it completely. Okay, I'll forget about it. I mean it. I've already forgotten about it, Uncle. It'll be just as... I'll be just... Listen, you don't seem to get the idea. See, how can I... I'll have you children know that I'm not made of money. Do you understand? Sure, sure. Marjorie? I don't care what I get, Uncle. Anything you decide, I'll be grateful for. That's the spirit, my dear. Leroy, why can't you be more... Me like... too, Uncle. Anything at all will be okay with me. Anything at all. Yeah. Well, it won't be a motor scooter. You can bank on that. Just get that out of your head right at the start. A motor scooter is out of the question. Understand? Yeah, sure. Okay. They're not only expensive, they're dangerous. And besides, they're expensive. Everything's expensive. Now, we're contributing to the orphanage out there, little Christina. That'll have to be our main Christmas. We've got to cut down. Motor scooters are out. You understand? Yeah, sure. They're too expensive. Who wants a motor scooter? I mean it, confound it. Don't wake up Christmas morning expecting to see one under the tree because there won't be one. Do you get it? Okay. Is it all right if I go out and play now? Confounded when I say I mean it, I mean it. All right, go ahead. Thanks, Uncle. Thanks a lot. Oh, boy, I got to tell Craig. You know, I don't think he believes me. <laughs> what are you grinning at, Marjorie? Uncle, you're so transparent. Transparent? What do you mean? You overdo it. Now, two years ago, Leroy wanted a dog. You told him 50 times, if you told him once, that a dog was out of the question. So on Christmas, what did he get? A dog. Yeah, well, sure. But and I... last year, it was a set of drums. For weeks, you kept telling him they were too expensive. And all the time, you had them hidden in a closet. No wonder he's on to you. You ought to keep quiet about the scooter. Listen, I mean it. Do you think I've got $150 to throw around? Donkey, you're a darling. Oh, we're dull. <laughs> but you couldn't fool a fly. Mm, there's a Christmas kiss. <laughs> I'm going straight upstairs now and wrap your presents. <laughs> she doesn't believe me either. How am I going to kill this thing? Bertie! Yes? Bertie, I positively will not buy Leroy a motor scooter. No, sir? I want to go on record before at least one member of this family is never ever having the slightest intention of doing so. You're my witness. Oh, shut you. Trust me, Mr. Gilsey. I ain't going to tell you. Oh, <laughs> You know yourself, Peavy, getting such expensive presents as that isn't good for a boy. It could ruin his character. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Why are you suddenly so concerned about Craig Bullard's character? Because, confounded if Craig gets a motor scooter, then I've got to give Leroy one, that's all. I can't have Leroy disappointed on Christmas while Craig goes chugging up and down the street, the little show-off. Hmm. That's my problem, Peavy. It's how to disappoint Leroy without disappointing him. Uh, how do you know Craig is going to get a scooter? I don't. That's what I'd like to have you ask Mr. Bullard, if you will. Well, why don't you ask him? Because I threatened to punch him in the nose last week. Him too? I told him to stay off the property. He told me to stay off his. You seem to be narrowing the circle of your acquaintance these days, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, never mind. Will you do as I ask? I don't know. It's a small enough favor, for heaven's sake. But it's none of my business. I just can't say to Mr. Bullard, what's this I hear about you giving Craig a high-priced scooter for Christmas? No, no, you don't have to do it that way, Peavy. Just be tactful. 
Be casual. Uh, sneak up on it. How? It, well, well, for instance, you could look out of your window and say, well, there goes a boy on a motor scooter. By the way, Mr. Bullard, what are you giving Craig for Christmas? Mm, don't say it didn't work. Why not? Well, suppose no boy went by on a scooter. <laughs> Ye gods, Peavy, you could pretend you saw one, couldn't you? Uh, that would be an untruth. I know, you just don't want to ask him. Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, I'll tell you. A man who will run a drugstore will do almost anything, but you have to draw the line somewhere. And when it comes to snooping, even a pharmacy... All right, forget it. I'm sorry I asked. Uh-oh, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yes? In case I shouldn't see you in the meantime, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, that's all, Eve. I just wanted to return your Plato. Darn interesting book. Thanks for lending it to me. You're quite sure you finished it? Oh, yes, yes, I'm finished in it. I'll be glad to have you keep it a little longer if you Oh, no, no, thanks. I think I've gotten all I can out of it. Oh, say, there was one other thing. Mm, do come inside. It's so cold out here. Well, just for a minute. It's about these motor scooters the kids are riding these days. Uh, very dangerous contraptions. Motor scooters? Yes. I've been thinking it might be a good idea, Eve, if you pass a rule against any motor scooters at school. Well, none of the children have motor scooters, Throckmorton. Not that I've seen. I know, but some child might get one. You know, uh, Christmas coming on. Some of these four flushers that don't know anything about bringing up children might... Well, I couldn't very well pass a rule against something that hasn't even come up. Now, could I? Well, you're the principal, Eve. If you just sent a note home with the kids, no motor scooters. You know, before Christmas, before it's too late. You might be doing somebody a favor. <laughs> Leroy wants a motor scooter. Is that it? How'd you know? <laughs> you're so easy to see through, Throckmorton. Women are always claiming they can see through me. Why is that? My own niece. I get the very same thing from her. Marjorie is a smart girl. Am I so dumb? Well, I don't think you always understand children very well. I'd like to know who understands them any better. Listen, I'm on to them every minute. Well, maybe so. But if you want to get Leroy's mind off motor scooters, I don't think the way to do it is to tell him he can't have one. No? How then? Convince him there's something else he wants more. Get him so interested he'll forget about scooters. By George, there's one thing I'll say for you, Eve. You've got sense. Well, thank you for the compliment, as far as it goes. Well, that isn't all you've got, either. <laughs> I'm afraid that was an afterthought. I'll show you whether it was an afterthought or not. <laughs> Another time, Throckmorton. Always putting me off. You've returned the book, and you've told me what you really came for. Now, was there something else? You make it awfully tough for a fella. Well, goodbye, Eve. Goodbye, Throckmorton. Oh, say. Yes? Uh, in case I shouldn't see you in the meantime, I am... Um, uh, Are you looking for something? Too early for mistletoe, I guess. <laughs> well, I just have to come back, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Eve. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, oh, let's see. You said about Leroy, uh, get him interested in something else. Uh, is that it? That's it. Uh, guess I got that straight. Well, uh, goodbye, Eve. <laughs> goodbye. I'd better get out of here. You'll be seeing through me again. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Eve. <laughs> the making of a really fine mayonnaise, as every expert homemaker knows, calls for a great deal of skill. Only choice ingredients may be used, and they must be blended with the utmost care for perfect, velvet smooth texture. Now, it isn't easy, but Kraft has mastered the art. Try famous Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise and see for yourself. Yes, although Miracle Whip salad dressing continues to be scarce because of the sugar shortage...